Welcome to the Windows 10 and Computer Channel and uh, well there's an update not yet available for everybody. In my case, I'll try it again here live. It was not available but it is available for some of you out there right now. So here it says up to date. If you are on the stable version of Microsoft Edge, today some of you have received the update that brings it to version 83. So that, if you have it, is available now. If not, uh, it should roll out in the next week or so for pretty much everybody, including me that doesn't have it right now, 81.0.416. You might be wondering why do you do that. Uh, one of the major f reasons for them doing this is uh, because they just want to make sure that it doesn't you know, explode on people's computers. So they're releasing it very slowly, and if it works well, they're going to release it for everybody else. Um, so version 83 is now available, and it has uh, quite a few new features. I mean, we're jumping from 81 to 83. You might wonder why version 82 is not existing. 82 is not existing anywhere, not even in Google Chrome using Chromium. Uh, there's Because of, of, of coronavirus, uh, there's a jump over that version. So we're at 83. Um, some of the features you'll see is that there is now sync of the collections feature. There's sync of extensions. Uh, some of the um, settings in there are saying that there's some syncing going on. So for example, if you go on uh, the settings page and you have the sync capabilities here, it says favorite settings and so on, uh, there are things that are still not syncing. Even if you turn them on, some of the things are not syncing yet, but it's coming. And um, basically there's a few little things like that. Uh, tweaking of the menus, there's um, profiles. If you are on a work profile and a personal profile, you don't even have to switch. Once you're in the work environment, uh, Edge will understand that you're not in your personal profile, you're in the work profile. It will actually switch to the work profile automatically. Same thing when you go back to your home stuff and regular stuff. Uh, little things like that. So uh, anyways, when it's available, I'll uh, have a more detailed look at it because I'll be able to show you the stuff. But right now, um, I think what's important is that just go to your Edge browser Go in the upper right corner and the three horizontal dots. Go into help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And here you should see an update. If it's available, you'll see that you're updating to 83. If it does like me, don't worry. Most of you are like me. It's not updating yet. Uh, if it's the case, just wait. Within about a week, um, it should actually roll out eventually if nothing wrong or nothing bad is happening. So uh, Edge Stable 83 is available for some. Will it be available for pretty much everybody in the next week or so? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.